Oh. You mustn't attack now. Rose will... If we don't do anything, Rose will become a Hellion. Except her wounds will kill her even before that happens. A shepherd is faced with difficult choices sometimes. Isn't that right? Better decide quickly, Shepard. Your darling comedian doesn't have long. Hold it, Soray. Get back for a moment. I have a plan. What? Oh, Shepard, do quit your desperate flailing about. You risk making a mess of the grand stage I spent all this time preparing. Sorry. Listen. Dessel, don't push yourself. Just listen to me. We have to <laughs> sever the bond between Rose and the Hellion. Even for the Shepherd, that would be nothing short of a miracle. It's impossible. Sorry. <clears throat> Hand me that thing you cut from Savid. It can fire strength itself, right? And I shall be that strength. I shall be your attack. What do you mean? Even as he is absorbed into the Hellion, he'll become an attack with a will of its own. He'll find the bond between Rose and the Hellion and sever it without hurting her body. But that's just suicide! If I can summon up the last reserves of my strength, and merge them with the power stored in this one remaining bullet. I can stay myself long enough to break the bond while leaving Rose untouched. Saray, neither Rose nor I can afford to waste any more time. <laughs> you understand, don't you? Jessel? No! I'm counting on you. Don't mess this up. What? Okay, AB, when you wind analyzed this. What is AB? me. I caused you, the Windriders, everyone to suffer. It's all my fault. That's what was bugging you? I suppose from the outside it looked like we were suffering. But as far as I'm concerned, these have been the happiest years of my life. Five years ago, when everything went pear-shaped, we could have been tossed to the winds. But instead, we got to travel again together as the scattered bones and the sparrow feathers. I was so happy. In fact, I'm grateful to you. Really. Hey, come on. There's got to be more you want to say. I'm useless. In the end, I wasn't good for a damn thing. But I can say I did one thing right. Just one. And that one right thing made everything else worthwhile. I'm eternally grateful to you too, Rose. Thank you. Yeah! Tell Saray and the others that it wasn't all bad. Romping around those ruins with all those nutballs. I will. And if they get bummed out about this, tell them, hey, I thought you had good to do in the world. Keep moping and crying, and I'll chain you up so tight you can't even breathe. 
And then, give him a good kick in the ass for me. Yeah. Good luck out there. Keep on keeping on. Rose! Oh, thank goodness! So, how does it feel? What do you think, Shepard? To be as infatuated with someone as he once was? Is it not right that Seraphim, whose blessings only cause misfortune, should not be allowed to exist? Was not his very existence evil to the core and deserving of extermination? Lies! You've got quite a bark, girl. Those are some plucky words from one who once sought to kill the Shepherd for the same reasons. <laughs> who are you anyway? I am Simone. Like him, a wretched, pitiable seraph, burdened with countless sins. <sighs> and now, Exeunt. Wait! I suggest you make time to grieve. I told everyone to meet here tomorrow morning. Sometimes it's best to be alone for a while. Thanks, Miklio. Saray, don't worry about it too much. <clears throat> I need a bit of a walk myself. Ach, hätte nicht irgendjemand ihm das Raten in den Girl in den Kopf schießen können oder so. Kraftaktion. Vergeltung. Schaden über den letzten Abwehr erlitten hast, wird deinem nächsten Angriff als Schaden zugefügt. Hm. Treue 20, 13 habe ich. ein bisschen länger auf und dann schneiden wir. Das stimmt, Miklio hat ja eine Katze auf dem Kopf. Dazzle's death, his shameful acts, and the things Simone said. Perhaps they're all things the shepherd has to accept in order to quell the Lord of Calamity. I'm just not sure how to feel about it all. I was thinking you should quit. What? Just hear me out. I used to think that when the Shepherd was getting crushed and overwhelmed by his duty or by his destiny, that it was something that you could just up and quit. Until yesterday, that is. Things are different now. For Dezel's sake, if nothing else, I want to find the answers. That's right. It isn't even some feeling of obligation so much as... I just want to know, in the hope that we won't make the same mistakes again. So that's why I no longer think you should quit. We definitely have to find some answers. Right. And it isn't just the Shepherd's duty either. 
This journey is something we, all of us, need to own. That's true. Thank you. There's no need for thanks. I just said how I truly feel. Achso, wahrscheinlich, weil ich da rein kann. Okay. okay. Okay, warum ist da ein Stern? Achso. friend, the creepy little girl. She said she was burdened with sins. Right. And she also said that the shepherd must know the truth of Seraphim, who carries such sorrowful burdens. Of those whose mere existence means human suffering. Sometimes death can be a release. If just by living, one causes terrible things to happen, then death would be... Edna, stop right there! I'm not talking about Dazzle, you idiot. You shouldn't be saying that about your brother either. So what if I did? They're just words. It's probably nothing you haven't heard before anyway. I still don't like it. I don't want to hear it right now. Oh. Then there's nothing to discuss. Yeah. <sighs> All I was really trying to say is that I think Dazzle was saved in a way. I chose my words poorly, and it was wrong of me. I apologize. Thank you, Edna. Don't mention it. Lila, what are you doing? Oh, um, this? That's incredible! How'd you do that? Making paper crafts like this really takes the edge off for me. I forget about all my cares, and it's like I just enter my own little world. I see. Saray, you've got to stop carrying the burden all by yourself. I think this one's gonna be tough, even if I share the burden. I find myself wondering, was there anything else I could have done? Should we have talked it over first? I just start thinking about things. Moments of reflection are good for the spirit, Saray. But regrets solve nothing. What's this? Humans have a custom. Sometimes they send a paper boat down a river imbued with a remembrance of their lost one, so that it may reach them. Since Dezel was a wind seraph, I thought maybe a bird that soars through the air would be more fitting. Now, Saray, let's send it off. I'm sure it reached him. Lila. Yes? Thank you. But you mustn't try to carry the burden all by yourself either. I'll be quite fine. There's no need to worry. I'm going to stay up here for a while. The wind feels comforting. All right then. I'll leave you to it. Okay. I too have a ways to go. Hier vorne ist nichts, oder? Nein.
Dann reden wir noch einmal mit... Ich glaube, Rose fehlt noch, oder? Ja, die drei Sachen haben wir durch. Dann fehlt noch Rose. Achso. Dann speichern wir schnell. Morning, Saray. Did you sleep well? Yeah. You don't look like it. Yo, Saray. No. Oh. Zavid, you're still here. Ouch. Lila, is he always this cold? Well, it looks like everyone's here. Care to explain why you wish to enter the Sublord Pact? No problemo. My goal is directly connected to the Shepherd's Journey. Your goal? Oh yeah, you said there were people you had to settle the score with. Right. One of them being Little Miss Edna's older brother. And the other? Mautelis. Mautelis of the Five Lords? The entire Glenwood continent is supposed to be under his protection, right? Except our baby boy toddled off somewhere, and right at that exact time, the Lord of Calamity shows up. Isn't that funny? It can't be. I didn't think it could be either. At first. But if Maltellus really did become a Hellion and bind with Heldolf... We'll need to confirm that's what happened. And the only way to do that is to approach him directly. Maybe. But we need to be able to stand against Heldolf's domain. Or we're sunk. And that's where I come in. If you'll let me fill the Dezel-shaped hole in your group, together we should be strong enough. How about it? It's in all our best interests, right? What do you believe we should do? Saray! No! Uh, what were we talking about again? Hey, can I have the floor? Huh? Hey! I thought you had good to do in the world! Keep moping and crying! And I'll chain you up so tight you can't even breathe! That's what he said. Oh, and he asked me to kick your ass a little too while I was at it. And then I... I told him... I do my best out there. And so that's why... That's why I'm damn well gonna do my best out there. <laughs> why? Why am I crying like this? Rose... He was really, really glad he got to travel with all of you. And I... I didn't even notice. But in the end, he was smiling. If only I talked with him more. <laughs> Oh, forget it. I'm done. Thank you for delivering his message to us. He was a kind watchdog up until the very end. I'll say. Guess you'll be okay from now on, huh, Rose? I'm okay. Are you okay? All right. Let's go. Hold your horses. Don't I get a packed thingy? No. Oh. Alrighty. So, now what do we do? Just as planned. We're heading to Glavend Basin. Since it's the place where we first met Heldolf. Glavend Basin, huh? Here we go. Na ja, toll, jetzt darf ich einmal ihn komplett neu ausrüsten oder was? Uh, er hat einfach Dazzles Klamotte übernommen. Okay, das ist praktisch. Muss ich sonst irgendwas machen? 
Ähm, wir gucken mal in seine Unterstützungstalente. Ah, er hat auch Dazzles Skills übernommen. Komm hier, Aktionspunkt suche. Dann kriegst du den Schatzdetektor. Ich glaube, es passt so. Kann ich bei euch noch irgendwas Cooles kaufen? Äh. Naja. Nein. Okay, gut. Ne, dann speichern wir einmal. Und ich bedanke mich ganz herzlich bei euch für eure Aufmerksamkeit. Ich hoffe, ihr hattet Spaß und ich wünsche euch einen wunderschönen Tag. Bis dann und ciao, ciao.